Hi, I am Lopa Mudrashen. Welcome back to my channel Electronic Science Tutorial. I will start a new lecture series on VLSI technology. Today is the 17th class of this lecture series. Those who are not follow my channel, please follow my channel. If you like my channel, then please like, share and subscribe my channel. Subscribe ki bell icon ko press karke rakhiye. Taki jab bhi mai koi nai video lekar aao, aapko pata chale. So, let's get started. Welcome to VLSI Technology. In previous class of this lecture series, we talk about the properties of crystal plane. In today's class, we talk about the manufacturing process of silicon wafer. That means, it provides an overview of silicon wafer. Okay? It starts with the production of the raw material and discuss the major steps required to produce the wafers that can be used to manufacture devices. In this lecture series, we first discuss about the electronic grade silicon which is the raw material used for the growth of single crystal silicon in the manufacturing of silicon wafers. So, this process is also called polysilicon manufacturing process. First point is electronic grade silicon, a polycrystalline material of high purity and it is the raw material for the preparation of single crystal silicon. Undoubtedly it is the pure form of silicon material. Right? Second point is, the major impurities are boron, carbon and residual donors. Okay. Third point is, electronic grade silicon should have impurity levels of the order of PPB range. What is the PPB range? That means parts per billion range. Okay. This range is the desired doping level so that it matches the chemical composition of the final silicon wafer. Okay. Fourth point is to get electronic grade silicon the starting material is called metallurgical grade silicon which is also called MGS. Okay. Metallurgical grade silicon is relatively high purity in the order of 98% which is used extensively in the metallurgical industry. Okay. Fifth point is to obtain electronic grade silicon requires a multi-step process. The first step is the Synthesis of metallurgical grade silicon. Okay. In this slide, we saw the schematic of a submerged electrode arc furnace for the production of metallurgical grade silicon. Okay. So, this is the furnace. This is the furnace. Right. The furnace is charged with quartzite, a relatively pure form of sand that is silicon dioxide SiO2 and carbon in the form of coal, coke and wood chips. Okay. First, the metallurgical grade silicon is produced in a submerged electrode arc furnace which is shown in this figure. This is the submerged electrode shown in this figure. Okay. At the temperature of 1600 degree centigrade, the condensed silicon oxide react with the carbon monoxide and produce silicon dioxide plus carbon. Right. This carbon is again react with the silicon oxide and produce silicon carbide that is SiC 
plus carbon monoxide CO. And one more reaction occur in this furnace that is silicon dioxide react with this carbon and produce silicon oxide SiO plus carbon monoxide. Okay. This silicon carbide and silicon dioxide again react at the temperature of 1780 degree centigrade and produce silicon plus silicon oxide plus carbon monoxide which is the liquid form of silicon and we get the discharge of metallurgical grade silicon in this way. So this is the overall production of metallurgical grade silicon. Right. Next, we saw the reaction of this, uh, the overall reaction of this furnace which is occurred in this furnace, the overall reaction. The first point is that is the metallurgical grade silicon is produced in a submerged electrode arc furnace which is already shown in the previous slide. The furnace is charged with quartzite and produce relatively pure form of SiO2 and carbon. The overall reaction is given by SiC which is in the solid form plus SiO2 which is also in the solid form and produce liquid silicon plus gaseous form of silicon oxide plus gaseous form of carbon monoxide. Right? This liquid silicon which is removed from the bottom of the furnace, this is the metallurgical grade silicon. Okay? And this is around 98% pure. Okay? But this purification is not sufficient for silicon wafer manufacturing process. To get the furnace purification is needed to make electronic grade silicon because the impurity concentration must be reduced to PPB level or PPB range. One of the techniques for converting metallurgical grade silicon to electronic grade silicon is called the Siemens process. In this process, the silicon is reacted with HCl gas to form trichlorosilin, which is also in gaseous form. The reaction is solid form of silicon react with the gaseous form of HCl and produce SiHCl3 which is in the gaseous form plus H2 which is also in the gaseous form plus heat is generated. Okay. This reaction takes place in a fluidized bed reactor at a nominal temperature of 300 degree centigrade where the trichlorosilane gas is removed and then reduced using H2 gas or hydrogen gas. And this overall techniques is produced by using a catalyst. Right. Here silicon tetrachloride and the chlorides of impurities are formed. At this point the purification process occurs. Okay. Electronic grade silicon is prepared from the purified SiHCl3 in a chemical vapor deposition process which is uh, discussed in next lecture and the reaction is takes place that is SiHCl3 which is in the gaseous form plus H2 which is also in the gaseous form and we get the solid form of silicon plus HCl which is the gaseous form of HCl. Okay.
in this slide we saw the schematic of a chemical vapor deposition reactor used for electronic grade silicon production so this is the figure a resistance heated rod of silicon called a slim rod that is this rod this is the slim rod silicon slim rod serve as the nucleation point for the deposition of silicon a complete process takes many hours and results in rods of electronic grade silicon which are polycrystalline in structure up to 0.2 meter or more in diameter and several meters in length okay electronic grade silicon can be cut from this rod as single chunks or crushed into nuggets right so this is the silicon uh, this is the reaction chamber this is silicon bridge and this is the silicon slim rod so this is the overall process or the schematic of a chemical vapor deposition reactor used for electronic grade silicon production okay in next class we also discuss about the chemical vapor deposition process right so here we end today's session Thank you. If you like my video, then please like, share, and subscribe my channel. फिर मिलते हैं एक नई वीडियो के साथ. Thank you.